this is incredible. To be honest with you, <clears throat> this story is just, uh, it's out there. I, it, I don't, I think there's something more going on, something very nefarious. Let's first of all, let's talk about this. We had a tech tycoon by the name of Michael Lynch, who started a company called Autonomy. And Autonomy uh, was sort of, <clears throat> had the ability to read people's emails and to be used by other companies. Okay, so let me just read it. Anyway, Michael Lynch had sold his company Autonomy to Hewlett Packard for $11 billion. But then, a few months after he made the sale, during the integration of the companies, the value of that autonomy dropped by $8 billion. It was only worth really about $3 billion. Okay? So Hewlett Packard, of course, uh, went to court, and it ended up going to a trial. That trial took almost 10 years. It finally ended with Michael Lynch winning the trial and, and being allowed to keep the $11 billion he got for selling the company. So he decided to go out and celebrate. He planned a celebration, take a yacht out on the, off the coast of Sicily and enjoy the victory finally of winning this court case, which was held in a federal court in San Francisco, California. All right. Now, one of his key players couldn't come to it. <clears throat> Instead, Saturday morning was out jogging. He was the CFO, okay, the finance chief financial officer, the vice president of finances of that company, Autonomy. His name was Stephen Chamberlain. Stephen Chamberlain, while out jogging Saturday morning, was hit by a car and was killed the, uh, the, next, the day after the victory. Stephen Chamberlain, the VP of Finance for Autonomy, the firm's co-founded by him and by British tech tycoon Michael Lynch. Stephen Chamberlain, one of Michael Lynch's co-defendants in the U.S. fraud trial, died after being hit by a car while he was out running, jogging in Cambridgeshire, England. Chamberlain, a former vice president of the finance at the British software firm Autonomy, was hit Saturday morning as he was out running um, and jogging. He, originally, when they found him, they did put him on life support, but he succumbed to his injuries. Lynch, um, that, that happened on Saturday morning, okay, to Stephen Chamberlain. But then Monday, yesterday, Lynch, Michael Lynch was still going to celebrate their victory. He, his wife, and his daughter, Hannah, along with his, his, uh, his lawyer, Chris Morvillo, and his wife, Netta, and his banker, his top banker from Morgan Stanley out of London, a guy by the name of Jonathan Bloomer, and his wife, Judy. They were all on a yacht um, with 15 people crew, 15 crew members, because this was you know, making this a very luxurious, luxury situation. Uh, and, they had, and he's got his own crew of 15, the chef, you know, he got everybody there, right? And uh, apparently that yacht sank. <clears throat> now it's reported it was because the, the boat was hit by a tornado or some type of water spout, sunk this huge yacht. <clears throat> What's really weird is the only people who died in the yacht was Michael Lynch himself, the tycoon, the tech tycoon, and his daughter, Hannah, she died. Also, Chris, his, his lawyer, Chris Morvillo, and his wife, Netta, they died. And his top banker, Jonathan Bloomer, and his wife, Judy, they died. Now, Michael Lynch's wife, survived she was rescued and pulled out of the water the captain of the boat survived also including all 15 members of the crew all survived so all 15 members of the crew 
plus the captain and Michael Lynch's wife survived. The other six went down with the ship and are still at the bottom of the sea. Hasn't been pulled back up yet. It's going to take, uh, take some time.